England have got good memories of playing Moldova away um, back in September. You've got good memories as well. You scored in that game. It was it was good all round. Yeah, it was a good performance. I think um, the performance put, we put in uh, uh, made the game look a lot easier than it actually was. You know, I don't think it's going to be an easy game Friday night. Um, but um, like you say, if we can draw on those memories from the performance putting out there, was, we started the game very well, which is important, I think, to get on top early. And you know, playing against Moldova, they're going to want to frustrate you and keep the score um, level as long as they can. And, and hope that they can hit you on the break. So the earlier you can get on top and get that goal, I think it helps. And we managed to do that out there, and, and hopefully we can do that on Friday. So your message to the England fans is: don't expect this to be necessarily so easy on on Friday. I mean, the assumption would be, of course, you win five nil away. It ought to be a half full at home. Yeah, ten at home. Yeah, it, obviously it doesn't work like that, but uh, it'd be nice. Um, but I think the main thing is is patience, and uh, you know they're going to come and try and frustrate us and. We need to make sure that we keep playing the right way and, 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 and have patience with that. It might take 45 minutes, it might take an hour, we might score in the first minute, you don't know. But as long as we're, we keep doing the right things and, and keep passing the ball and creating chances, and the sooner we get that breakthrough, the better. And I think we can uh, then go on and hopefully secure the win. How are you feeling personally at the moment, confidence-wise? Uh, Manuel Pellegrini yet to start you in a, in a Premier League game since he's come to the club. Does that affect you when you come away on international duty? Does it damage your confidence a bit, James? Um, not really. I think, um, like you say, it's, it's how you look at it and how strong you are mentally. I think, um, you know, I had a good pre-season and uh, obviously we've met some very good signings at City and um, it's, it's going to take time for, for the new players to come in and, and the manager to, to settle in and get to know one another. Um, I think at the moment we've had one game a week. I think as soon as we get back, we're pretty much two, three games a week till January. So. Um, I'm sure the team will get changed and then when uh, you get your chance it's down to you to prove that you should be in that team and stay in the team. You're talking about changes to the team, a lot of changes out there training with England today, Ross Barkley in there, Andros Townsend, Raheem Sterling, three players that could play for the under-21s and of course you were the, the, the record appearance maker for, for the under-21s, I think it was 46 times you played for them. Why do you stand on this debate about when the youngsters should be integrated into the senior squad? It's, it's a debate that people have different opinions on. Yeah, I think that's obviously, I'm happy I don't have to make that decision. It's down to the under-21 manager and, the, and obviously the England manager. Um, but it's pleasing that we do have a number of young players in the under-21s who are stepping up. And obviously we had Wilfred here last time as well. So I think it's more, you've got to look at the, the positives that there is players who are good enough and, and stepping up into the seniors, whether it's for one trip or whether they come through and, and stay all the season with us. Um, it shows that there's quality there. and quality young players coming through which you know you hear about things there's no quality coming through in English football sometimes which that obviously proves proves it wrong